We took a program that was about to be non-existent and made it a perennial power. Sometimes you don't appreciate the accomplishments until years later, right? Sometimes you don't appreciate, you don't appreciate this building that we're in right now. You don't appreciate the way our campus looks. You don't appreciate the way this community has grown until years later and you realize what it was. And to be a part of that first, uh, you know, it seems like yesterday, to be a part of that first uh, bowl team uh, under, under Coach Snyder, to know how hard we worked, to know the commitment and the sacrifice that it took, to know that nobody gave us a chance, gives you confidence that you can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. These coaches and these fans, we're going to send a message to the world. We took a program that was about to be non existent and made it a perennial power. 15 10, 5, Coleman dives for the end zone. He's got a touchdown. What a play by Chad made his stay in bounds and then fired a sidearm shot across the field at Coleman. Trying to get outside, slips two tackles, needs a block. He's at the 35 40. Coleman's got a wall in front of him. He's at the 50 45 40. Coleman 35 30 could go all the way. 20 15 10 5. Touchdown. Andre Coleman does it again. This game is over, and you need to listen to me closely because one of the greatest stories in the history of college football, and in recent history for sure, is being written in Manhattan, Kansas. And tonight, a final chapter, at least for this season, and for the last five years has been told, because Kansas State has gone from 0-11 to a nine-win season. That's something pretty special, you know, that not many people can say, if any, can say that they've, that they've done, let alone be on the ground floor part of it. It's only poetry that you listen to me closely. What it is for Kansas State, it's a big, 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 big Kansas State season and victory here in the Copper Bowl.